A new suggestion tonight that former Governor Deval Patrick should not collect that hefty daily fee to lobby for Boston 2024. And that's coming from Boston's Mayor Marty Walsh. New tonight at 6, New Center 5's Janet Wu reports it opened the floodgates of criticism and support from surprising sources. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh's comments came during a busy morning of events. Asked about the former governor's $7,500 a day fee when he lobbies key decision makers on the 2024 Summer Olympic Games, Walsh said ambassadors like Patrick should get no money. I think that they shouldn't be paid probably at all to be ambassadors. I think that it would, it would be a good gesture of representing this, this Commonwealth and, and, and taking this Commonwealth on a world stage, and I don't think they should be paid at all. That opened the floodgates for other Democrats. You lose credibility when you get paid for this. If he really believed in it, he could do it for free, get his expenses paid. But the 7500 bucks a day, that's too much. While some Republicans, not surprisingly, jumped on the bandwagon. Bad idea. Uh, he accepted the mantle of public service, and I don't uh, think now that he's not our governor any longer, they should cash in on that. Other GOP legislators came to Patrick's defense. If those people that contributed huge amounts of money to make this a go, feel that it's worthwhile to pay Governor Patrick $7,500 a day to wield his influence. That is entirely up to them. It is private. All the money that's being raised, I believe, is from private corporations. So I would say that, you know, I have nothing really to say about that. It really does um, reinforce some concern about a lot of things that the public always looks at, and that is. You know, you're, you work in gov at the government level, and then you're able to leverage that to do other things. Most Democrats, however, either didn't want to weigh in, or they said they'll have something to say when and if taxpayer dollars become involved. At the State House, Janet Wu, WCVB, News Center 5.